Back here in Texas, Governor Greg Abbott expecting the state now to keep getting higher numbers of doses. And all of that is coming as Texas breaks a new record of more than 2 million doses administered in a single day. All new at 10 o'clock, Caroline Vandergriff explaining the planning underway right now as more doses will arrive in North Texas as soon as next week. The COVID-19 vaccination effort in North Texas feels like it's picking up steam. Next week, we're doing a big jump, which is over 32,000 vaccines coming to Denton County, Texas. To handle triple the amount of doses it received this week, Denton County plans to open a much bigger drive through clinic. We're looking to mobilize with our great partners out at Texas Motor Speedway so we can have one of the largest mega sites in all of DFW. Setting up a vaccination site at Texas Motor Speedway will allow the county to really scale up their efforts, vaccinating hundreds of people an hour by appointment only. The massive operation will be manned by first responders from a variety of agencies across the county and a lot of volunteers. But for right now, I think the large hub approach really is the best one, and I think the state of Texas agrees. But pharmacies are prepared to help expedite the rollout, too. So far, three Walmarts in North Texas have been approved to distribute the vaccine. The Biden administration is reportedly working to send vaccines directly to retail pharmacies for the first time as soon as February. The move is meant to make it easier for more people to get the shot as the virus continues to spread and new variants emerge. And pretty much if you leave your house right now, how many pharmacies do you have to pass just to get to your local grocery store? Oh, yeah. And by the way, your grocery store probably has a pharmacy in there as well. So it just provides a layer of convenience. The biggest hurdle to reaching that level of availability, how much of the vaccine is available? If we can fix the supply issue, um, the, the community pharmacies will be able to handle the demand. Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.